Hi everyone, this is Master Healer here coming to a nice teaching message quickly. Uh, yeah. Are you grateful for your, for your job that you have right now? You guys know, since last year, January 2022, I told you guys that we're gonna uh, um, we head into a global recession for the next 24 months and beyond. And you see what happened since last year. Last year summer, I came to you guys again. I told you guys, be careful, heads up. Massive layoff gonna be coming in fall, in December. Tell you guys in my January, um, expect next few months, massive um, um, layoffs again. Some of you guys have jobs and still whining and complaining and bitching, crying, all kind of stuff. You guys need to be grateful because you, you guys didn't see nothing yet. The, am the amount of homelessness will be coming true in this country, especially for women and children. It's going to be crazy. All right, so my message to you guys, man, just be thankful and grateful for what you have. Don't be complaining and whining because because what it is you don't have. All right, you have a roof over your head, you have heat, you have um, food. Be grateful, and this is what I'll be trying to tell you guys. We come, we come uh, as a nation as whiners, and notice that everybody always whining and complaining. They they always complain about everything. You know something compared to other places you know something you know and um it have more more stuff is going to happen you know but we all can ride through the um ride through this rough patch you know it's just a rough patch you know every cycle every 10 years every decade we're gonna have um different um problems that we're gonna go through you know so we have to stay grounded we have to stay pray up we have to look off each other you know it's going to be rough you're going to see homelessness more than crazy in all these big cities of course the homelessness homelessness could be a big big problem you know and uh, nobody cares about poor people remember that guys nobody cares about if you're poor some people view poor poor being poor as a sin you know what i'm saying yes some people view it as a sin being poor some people stay being poor because it, it runs like a generational um um curse and some people might end up being the one to, to break out of, of that poverty it might be the one and then they might try to save the rest of the family you know and, and stuff like that now nothing wrong with that but the thing is about it is that it's not nice being poor it's not a nice feeling you know to be poor so i wouldn't look down at anyone because they're poor whatever it is now you know because we all went through struggles of nearly being homeless um or either being without certain things at some point in time in our life we all went through that dry patch in our life you know and i always try to tell people it's better to go through a dry patch when you're young because you can always bounce back but you don't want to be when you reach old in your 50s and 60s and you have to be going through homelessness that is the most embarrassing thing that 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 could ever happen to anyone right now so so if you're young and you're going through a little rough patch everybody gonna go through some types of stuff you look at some of the greatest people um, a lot of the most wealthiest people in the world have a story. A lot of them was homeless before. A lot of them put in work. We didn't see the work. Nobody cares about your work where you put in. You know? People just want to see the, the success. You know? Some people don't even care about your story. They just want to know you're successful. That's it. Nobody cares if you sleep in your car. Nobody cares about, about all we did. No, all people want to know if you're successful. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know? But a lot of people do not care about the sacrifice that you have to make you have to put in the work to get there we all have to put in work if you want to reach a certain level in life some people want to have it quick they want to have it like that you know what i'm saying these young ones my young under 30 i always tell them that you have to take your time you have to focus on um on, on whichever one it is you know what i'm saying huh? yeah you have to take your time and just and, and, and focus and and and, and move in silence, you know? Because as I say, when coming for us, we are the most gullible race on the planet. We talk too much. That's why nothing does get done with us half of the time. Because we have to let the whole world know what we're gonna do. So we must get blocked while everybody else is taking note and knowing what it is we pl plotting to do. We only people just come out and talk in the public, what we're we, we gonna do? We are a joke, yo. Some of us are a joke. 
you know? So we have to learn to move in silent. Not everything you have to put out in the public, but some people love to love everything in the public. And that's why they get shut down. That's why they get blight. That's why they get jinx. That's why enemies taking notes and they sit down and laughing and watching you. Everything you're saying, you're going to do. And that's why it didn't happen. So guys, man, just, you know, move in silence. Take it easy. You guys will be okay. Um, be thankful. Be grateful. It's going to be a little rough. Um, I see more layoffs again is going to happen within the next six months. You know what I'm saying? You know? um, a lot of cuts. It's going to be brutal, you know? But we will get through it, you know? And it has so much other things we have to worry about. You have to worry about AI, you know? This AI technology and, and all these different things, you know? We're going to talk about that in our next um, video. There's so much things that um, that that we need to talk about and, and, and people need to be grateful, you know? You know? We can say what you want, man. As much as America um, is not the most perfect country, but black people should be grateful at the end of the day. It's not perfect. But looking at England, looking at Canada and all them stuff, when you look at America, black people here are doing great. We are doing great. You know, a lot of us are wealthy. A lot of us are multi-millionaires. A lot of us are billionaires and all that stuff. So no matter what society has thrown at us and say to, to some of us, a lot of us are doing great, are very successful out here. You know what I'm saying? No? And you have a lot of multi millionaire people, but they, they're on the low because the media making it look, they keep showing you the big city, they're showing you crime, Chicago, this way, that way, Atlanta. Um, you, you understand what I'm saying? Some of these big places, and they will always keep showing you that. They will never show you the, um, the good part, that how, how, how a lot of us are successful and a lot of us doing it big. They will never show you that. And we have to tell our own story. You can't depend on nobody to come and tell your story for you. You got you to do your own story. You can't wait for no savior to come and, and do and tell our story. You're crazy. So at the end of the day, you know, I hope that, um, you know, we could all love each other. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I'm sure love. It doesn't matter what creed and race. But. We we keep, become a, 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 a nation of whiners, you know. I see it in the Caribbean people always whining and complaining. They're not grateful. Yeah, you know what I'm Be thankful, you know. And these young ones and them, some of them don't grateful. Some of them don't matter what you do for them. They want everything now. They want it now, 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 now. They don't want to put in no work at all. They feel everything must, when they do it, it must happen like that. And I'll be trying to tell them they have to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Whether they want to be a doctor, whether they want to be this, whether they want to be a scientist, you know what I'm saying? They, they're all over the place. And that's why I try to tell my young crew, my under 30 crew, you know, you guys need to, to, to chill. You guys need to relax, you know, stop trying to be perfect. Things will be okay with you guys. I, I, I just be telling you guys everything, you know, I, I show you guys everything. A lot of times I be telling you guys, some, some, sometimes I, I come to a conclusion that something is wrong with some of us. Because I can't understand if I am predicting everything in advance to you guys, telling you guys everything. And sometimes when I tell you guys to do exactly what I tell you guys, you guys want to go and do all your own thing. Then you'll come back now asking me on the back end some dumb shit that I already don't tell everybody what you was to do from the first from the beginning. Don't wait till when a crisis coming. You're coming to scramble now to tell. No, I already tell you months ago because I always tell you guys in advance. I give you guys heads up. I just tell you straight up that if to stay with this man, if this man is no good, get out of that. I'll tell you straight up, listen, be careful with your job. Layoffs might be coming. You need to do so and so. No, some of you guys are just naturally too it's, um, cheap sometimes too. So cheapness will cost you more on the back end. You understand what I'm saying? No? And, and, and because some, some of you guys might end up being cheap, and you didn't want to follow instruction, it cost you bigger money on the back end. You understand what I'm saying? No, because you didn't you didn't follow my instructions. You want some of you guys want to do all your own thing. And that's why I just tell people straight up. When you want to do your own thing, you will always end up in problems. You understand what I'm saying? No? Yeah. If you say anything with me, I know straight up. If I go for my system that I created for me, I will get myself in trouble. But if I stay on my system that I created and I follow that to a T. I'll be just fine because I created something that is unique that I have never seen anybody created in, in, in so far. You understand what I'm saying? No? How it is. I know that's a fact. There's a lot of things I, I, I have no intention to show any public or whatever it is. You know? But I've created something so great 
that I don't know totally they shock me because I have so much things that um that one day I will teach I'll pass it down to the right people you know so guys um peace love and blessings man um I hope this makes sense and we have to be thankful and grateful you know especially for jobs you know it's going to be rough but we will get you all right so stay blessed and I hope this makes sense peace love and blessings bye